Good morning, students. Again, hoping that all of you are good and fine. So we continue our discussion where we were discussing uh, the statistics. Uh, under that, uh, we started uh, the second module that is uh, index numbers. Okay. So that was the last class we took that as uh, lecture one. So today we take this as lecture two. Okay. So we continue with the same module. You need to index numbers. Index numbers. So yesterday or the previous video, we concluded that what is the concept of index numbers. And one point I concluded um, at the end that all these are nothing but statistical tools. So that we can think of applying all those uh, statistical tools depending upon the collected data, then giving some results. So that uh, it helps uh, the different people or the different sectors of the society. Okay, so uh, that was the last thing where we discussed the concept of index numbers. So, uh, hoping that you know the meaning of index numbers, uh, statistical uh, devices designed to measure the change in the uh, relative or relative change in the variable or phenomena or group of variables. Okay, and all these changes we know that due to uh, time or due to uh, your profession, due to income, due to geographical location, okay. So this relative change we are finding or we are going to find by applying this statistical tool that is called as, uh, that is called as index numbers, okay. So here uh, in this particular video, we uh, discuss about the classification of index numbers, features of index numbers, advantages of index numbers. Uh, at the end, we conclude by discussing limitations of index numbers. Okay. So here I write uh, all the features. What are the features of these index numbers or characteristics of index numbers? Okay. What are the features? Features in the sense Everywhere we try to understand the concept. What is these features? Features is what it includes. When we say that there is an object, that object is to be described by adding some more values, which we call as features. For example, if you take my own example, I am the object. If you say that this is the object, what are its features? What it includes? Like head, two eyes, two ears, nose, hands, legs, okay. So all together we call it as features. Similarly, when you are saying that uh, there is an object, statistical device called as index numbers, what it includes, okay. So that we can uh, further describe, we can further understand the concept of index numbers. Okay, so I write here one by one, index numbers are Index numbers are specialized types of averages. So, index numbers are specialized types of averages <laughs> because we know uh, many types of averages. And all these averages or special types of averages are nothing but statistical tools. So we know about mean, we know about uh, uh, standard deviation, we know about median, we know about mode, and we know about uh, quartile deviation, okay, percentile. So any statistical average or statistical tool, okay. So all these tools are applied just to get the result, just to get the output. 
Similarly, index numbers are also specialized types of averages because it helps the economy or the government to know about the changes or relative changes that are happening in the economy. So yesterday we took the example of uh, a gold market, we took the example of uh, steel products, we took the example of uh, cement product, we took the example of consumer goods, okay. So and all these are uh, the commodities, the goods which are there in the Indian economy. So definitely it helps the economy to find out the changes in the price level of the commodities. That's what index numbers are specialized types of averages because it helps the economy, it helps the particular government to know the changes especially in terms of price, in terms of quantity, in terms of values so that they can think of economic policies, so that they can think of uh, betterment of the economy. So that the first feature where we say that index numbers are specialized types of averages. Then number two, index numbers are, index numbers are expressed in ratios, but for comparison purpose they are for comparison they are expressed in percentage so index numbers are expressed so when you are applying the particular statistical tool, okay, that is to be expressed. Expressed in such a way that the people who are applying all these uh, statistical tools should know how to apply these tools, how to take the numerical data. So here index numbers are expressed, one of the statistical tools which are expressed, okay. So expressive means I am expressing my opinion. I am sharing my views, so which we call as expressions. Okay, here also we are applying index numbers, one of the tools, but it is expressed in ratios. So how it is expressed in ratios? So yesterday we took the example of two data. Okay, so 2020-1990. Okay, so I told 1990 is the base year. 2020 is the current year. Okay, so whenever we want to forecast, we want to predict about the changes in the year 2020. We need uh, the past data, and at the same time, I told you, past data means uh, there should not be any uh, too much gap between these two years. Okay, so of course, 1990 somewhat uh, we are near to the reality. If you are taking 1950 or 1947, it is somewhat far from reality. Okay. So 1990-2020. Assume that 1990 gold price was 100 rupees. Just assumption. Okay. 2020 gold price is 1000 rupees per gram. Per gram. Okay. So we have two different prices, one uh, for the base year 1990, 100 rupees per gram, one for the current year 2020, 1000 rupees per gram. Okay. So what is the relative change, relative change, so they have given here, index numbers are expressed in ratios, so this is nothing but ratios, 100 is to, 100 is to 1000. So ratio means we know we need two data, two numerical data. Then only we can say that it is the ratio. Okay. So 100 is to 1000. Base year price 100 rupees per gram. Current year price 1000 rupees per gram. Okay. But what is the change? Relative change that we are finding. So if you apply only this, 
100 is to 1000 expressed in ratios it is not clear it is something vague so they do cannot think of concluding it that's why for comparison they are expressed in percentage for comparison they are expressed in percentage so that we can say easily what is the percentage change in the price of the gold for the current year? whether it is 100% 200%, 300%, okay, or 500%, any change. So, for time being, I tell you here only how to get this percentage. We take 1000 divided by 100 into 100, okay. So, I cancel two zeros. So, it is 1000 percent increase. So, what is this uh, 1000 current year price? Base year price, this is what percentage. So, if you take this particular feature, index numbers are index numbers are 100 and 1000 expressed in ratios, expressed in ratios, but for comparison, what we are comparing base year price with current year price, 1990s gold price with 2020s gold price. For comparison, they are expressed in percentage, they are expressed in percentage, so that we are finding that this can be concluded easily. So comparatively, 1000% increase in the price of the gold for the current year 2020. So just to see the change. So 1990, it was 100, now it is 1000. So 1000% 1, change we are finding in the price of the gold. This is what the nature of index numbers. So index number tool is learned to Now we then apply it to the We conclude it. So index number tool is done. Now easy to conclude it. But we can conclude it. Even common man can understand this particular interpretation. So then easy to tell you. 1990 to 2020. Gold price only thousand percent to increase are given. Okay, so I increase hega given or okay. We can justify. We can justify. So that is what the second feature of uh, this uh, index numbers. Okay. So next, uh, okay. Uh, number three. Index numbers study the effect of the effect of factors that cannot be measured. Directly. Okay, so one more nature of index numbers, how it helps, what it includes, that is, it studies, index numbers study the effect of factors, effect of factors that cannot be measured directly. So what are all these effect of factors? Okay, so I take uh, the same example, I continue with the same example of the gold price. So 1990, we had a gold price of 100 rupees, 2020, it is 1000 rupees. So finally, we applied uh, the index number statistical tool and we found that 1000% change increase in the price of the gold. Okay, so what are the reasons for this? What are the reasons for this? So it was 100 rupees per gram during 1990s, but it is 1000 rupees during 2020s. Okay, so what are the reasons? What are the reasons that we call as what are the factors that affected to increase the price of the gold? Correct. So 1990 only 100 rupees, 2020 only 1000 rupees. So 1000 percent increase. I reason. Reason. 
So reasons I told you because of economic uh, policies, because of economic factors, because of uh, political factors, because of socio-economic factors, because of technological factors, because of uh, uh, professional factors. Okay, so different environment, different economic environment that uh, affects uh, the uh, price of the good. Okay, now because of index numbers which study the effect of factors that cannot be measured directly. You cannot measure all these factors directly like economic factors, socio-economic factors, uh, something technological factors or your uh, political factors. All these measures you cannot, uh, you cannot think of uh, measuring directly. But index numbers definitely helps to measure all those factors. If you take the price of the gold, if you take the price of uh, consumer goods, if you take the price of uh, steel, if you take the price of vegetables, if you take the price of any product for that matter, uh, if you take a single variable, single product or groups of uh, variables, group of variables. So the relative chain we are finding of a variable or group of variables along with that why this change is happening what are the factors that are affecting to this change in price so that is also can be measured because of index numbers correct so pen new kaanta idira ee pen price 10 rupees ante telukodi yavaga 2020 athwa 2010 2020 alli ide pen nige 20 rupees aagide so now index number 2 will be applied to 20 rupees and calculate it. Okay? 10 rupees in the 20 rupees hey guy to 10 rupees in the 20 rupees and get a reason. What are the reasons? Well, the reasons are now find out what Only because of index numbers. So that is the feature of index numbers. Okay? One more example I give you for your easily understanding purpose. So same example in previous video we took of your percentage marks. So first PC commerce your score was 90%. Second PC commerce your score is 95%. Okay. So 90 to 95%. 5% increase we are finding in your percentage. So what are the reasons? Effect of factors. Reasons for scoring more percentage in the second PC commerce exams. Similarly, first PC you have scored 80%, second PC your score is 70%. So decrease of percentage, decrease in the percentage. So why this has happened? So 80% in the percentage, 70% in the 70% are like what are the factors, effect of factors. Okay. May be, it may be because of uh, your less efforts, lack of efforts, it may be because of uh, some other external factors like your uh, neighbors, disturbance from the labor, the neighbors or some other uh, members, okay, or it may be the internal factors. So that we can easily study all those factors by applying the tool of index numbers. So that's what the third feature of index numbers. Lastly, it facilitates it facilitates comparison it facilitates comparison definitely it facilitates comparison because last classes only we concluded that all the statistical tools are applied starting from your first PUC to this moment whatever statistical tools uh, we have discussed and we have been discussing all these tools are applied for comparison if you take mean median mode quartile deviation percentiles correlation regression okay vital statistics index numbers time series analysis any statistical tool for that matter you take all these are used for comparison so we compare 1990 gold price with the 2020 gold price okay so because of that comparison only we can find the change 
and I told you when we think of comparison that should be minimum two numerical data. 2020 that's what uh, in the previous class I told you you cannot compare with yourself. I cannot compare with myself. I can compare myself with others, my friends or my neighbors. So you can compare with your neighbors or your friends. So you cannot compare with yourself. So number one, number two, then now compare what we did. So compare what we can find. There are two objects here. There are two variables here. There are two elements here. So 1991 element, 2021 element. So we compared this and we thought of interpreting it. Correct. So that's what the nature of index numbers it facilitates comparison. Okay. So because of all these uh, characteristics, features, we say that there is a concept of index numbers. So I repeat all the points once again. Just go through. Index numbers are specialized types of averages because it helps the economy to find the changes in the price level of the commodities, quantity of the commodities, or value of the variables okay these are expressed in ratios normally index numbers are expressed in ratios but it is uh, very difficult to understand for that purpose to compare all these uh, expressed data easily again these are expressed in the form of percentage so that we can easily understand the conclusion then it studies the effect of factors that cannot be measured directly so any factors, any economic environment or socio-economic environment or political environment which we cannot study directly because of index numbers as we are finding uh, the changes in the price level, commodity, price level of the commodities, quantity or value and along with uh, that change we can find the effect of factors. What are the different factors that are uh, influencing um, on that change? Then obviously we know it facilitates comparison where we can compare one data with other data so that we can easily conclude it. Okay? So all these are the features of uh, index numbers. Features I mean to say all these things are included in index numbers. Okay? So further we discuss about uses of index numbers. Uses of index numbers because when we take any concept because of its uh, usefulness only we take all those concepts if you take your uh, mobile phones smartphones or if you take your uh, personal computers okay so because of the use we take all those things similarly when we take this index numbers we have some uses okay so uses of index numbers what are the uses of index numbers? It simplifies. It simplifies the data. Thus, facilitate. Comparison Comparison Step okay. uh, Of course you know all these things because in the meaning itself and the features we discuss all these concepts but anyhow because of the uses of uh, index numbers we take all these points okay it simplifies the data, thus facilitate comparative study. It simplifies the data. So, uh, we uh, take the same example of the gold price. 1990, it was 100 rupees per gram. 2020, it is uh, 1000 rupees per gram. Okay. So, if they ask you the question, so what is the change? What is the change in the price level of the gold per gram? So, you are applying the tool of index numbers. Okay and you are simplifying the data okay so 1000 divided by 100 into 100 and you can compare so 1000 divided by 100 into 100 so 1000 percent change in the price of the gold comparatively 
comparing this particular year current year 2020 with uh, that of last year 1990 we are finding that there is 1000 percent change in the price of the gold per gram this is what the conclusion we can make because of index numbers that's what they have given it simplifies the data thus facilitated comparative study the number two use in studying trends and tendencies so used in studying trends and tendencies okay of course you know all those uh, central uh, measures of central tendencies mean median more all those things but anyhow, when we apply this particular statistical uh, tool, index numbers, we can study the trends. Trends means uh, somewhat uh, changes, changes, relative changes. Okay. So when you compare last year with this current year, you can find the trends. How the trend was uh, during 1990s or 1995, 1960. How the trend is. Trend is means. Uh, uh, when we are there in the particular economy, there are different trends and tendencies. Okay, so we cannot expect all the things uh, at our own way. So it depends upon the uh, factors, internal factors, external factors. Okay, so we have so many examples where we can justify these trends and tendencies. Okay, tumba changes at the economy. Okay, even 1947 in the or pre-independence, post-independence. Yellow category Mandavaga Ali in changes it to economic irbodu, a political changes irbodu, a price level changes irbodu, quantity changes irbodu, value changes irbodu. Our time will hate it to 1990, 91, 92, 93. Okay, I'm going to 2000, 2000, 2001, 2020 till 2020. Okay, the well changes in a way in North Kuro, Okay, so trends and tendencies. Use in studying trends and tendencies. When you are comparing the, the data, current year data with the previous year data, that is nothing but trends and tendencies. Okay, and how it is possible? Because of index numbers. And when we apply index numbers, we can study all these trends and tendencies, all these changes that are happening in the economy. Okay, then we have helps in measuring purchase power of money and also So helps in measuring purchasing power of money and also used for deflation. Hoping that you know the uh, necessity of money. Okay, I'm not saying that money is everything, but money is inevitable to lead our life. Okay, so what is this purchasing power of money? So helps in measuring purchasing power of money. So I told you, 1990 gold price was 100 rupees. 2020 gold price is 1000 rupees. This is nothing but purchasing power of money. Okay, so purchasing power of money, we can understand, we can measure by applying this particular statistical to index numbers. So index numbers and apply model data. Now purchasing power of money. So hundred day purchasing power is also other than measure model. How can measure model? Now gold product and example like it. So 1990 gold price is hundred rupees. 2020 only 1000 rupees cycle. This change is nothing but purchasing power of money. So 1000 percentage change that is nothing but purchasing power of money. Any product for that matter you take definitely it contains purchasing power of money and also used for deflation. So inflation 
इंक्रीज इन दी प्राइस लेवल ऑफ द कॉमोडिटीज डिफ्लेशन डिक्रीज इन दी प्राइस लेवल ऑफ द कॉमोडिटीज सो दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी स्टडी बिकॉज ऑफ इंडेक्स नंबर्स करेक्ट है इनफ्लेशन स्टडी मोदी इंडेक्स नंबर्स दैट इज इनक्रीज इन दि प्राइज लेवल ऑफ द कॉमोडिटी इफ आई टेक दिस पैन सो इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग इनक्रीज इन दि प्राइज लेवल ऑफ दिस कॉमोडिटी दिस पैन दैट इज नथिंग बट इनफ्लेशन If you are finding decrease in the price level of this commodity, that is nothing but deflation. But both can be measured because of index numbers. Okay, whether 10% change, 20% change, or 30% change in the price of the commodity. Okay, so that can be measured because of index numbers. Then it measures or index numbers measure. Change in cost of living of cost of living of different groups groups of people <coughs> different groups of people. Definitely it helps uh, to measure uh, change in cost of living of different groups of people. So, what is cost of living of uh, people? So, cost of living of people means we know that uh, every individual or every group of people they have uh, certain uh, necessities, basic necessities. Okay, and to uh, satisfy all those basic requirements, he earns money. and from that income only he meets all those basic requirements okay from the total income what is earning per month from that total income he satisfies all those basic requirements okay so that is the number <coughs> cost of living of the people for example i am earning 20000 per month assume that one example i am earning 20000 per month from that 20000 rupees what are all my basic requirements So I am spending for food. I am sp spending for cloth. Then other expenses like uh, rented room or uh, uh, telephone bill or uh, mobile recharge, electricity bill, water bill, each and everything I meet because all these are the basic requirements which I have to meet. Okay. So what is the final amount remains? Okay. So all these things can be measured because of. Index numbers, and at the same time, it measures change in cost of living of different groups of people. And one more best example I give you: uh, you just ask your parents when they were uh, like you, uh, kids. So what was the total expenses of the that family? If you ask your parents, father, mother, or grandparents, so what was the total expenses they were incurring uh, during uh, those days when they were uh, children? Okay. And now, what are the total expenses incurred by them uh, when they are uh, when you are children? Okay, so that gap, what you are finding, that is nothing but change in cost of living of different groups of people. Okay, so just you come back, just you ask with your parent. So the parent apparently you care about do our students are with our that, or our son or with our that family only. Just to total expenses are there too. Just to earn more there too. ಎಷ್ಟು ಖರ್ಚಾಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಈಗ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ನೀವೇನು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರೋ ಏನು ಡೇಟಾ ತೆಗಿತೀರೋ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹೌ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಹೌ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಮೆಜರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ index numbers are used by the government okay so why it is used by the government as i told you index numbers are used for comparison purposes by taking uh, the prices of commodities okay by taking uh, the quantity of the commodities by taking the values of the commodities so all these price quantity commodities plus values of the commodities that are there in the economy 
Okay, so when all these are there in the economy, we are there in the particular Indian economy, and all these things are there in the economy, and we know that that economy is uh, managed by, controlled by this government. Okay, so it helps index numbers helps definitely it helps the government. So how it helps? So when government thinks of economic policies. the policies of the economy rules and regulations of the economy okay when government thinks of uh, uh, granting allowances to the employees okay when government thinks of uh, establishing industries giving permission for industries okay so when uh, government thinks of uh, monetary policies or fiscal policies all those things we know in economics okay so a small change in the economy because we know we experienced all those things we have the live examples because so far small incident of uh, covid 19 what are the changes in the economy that is happening okay so that's what i am telling index numbers where you are calculating cost of living change in cost of living of uh, people okay uh, or deflation inflation or prices quantity values of the commodities okay all these are uh, there in the economy ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಮೋಡಿಟಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವುದೇ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಕಾನಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗೋದು ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಯಾಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟು ಇಡೀ ಇಕಾನಮಿನ ಮೆಜರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರು ಯಾವ ಯಾವಾಗ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ well it is uh, policies regarding to agriculture policies regarding to industries policies regarding to infrastructure policies regarding to finance so all these policies definitely all these policies are formulated by taking into consideration all those changes that are happening in the economy so economically yen changes agutho adu takkante na policies madbekagutte so yen changes agindo anod hege gottagutte now statistical tool anna apply madbekagutte ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ಟನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಓ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಡಿಫ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಸೊ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಈಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಹೀಗಾಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಈಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡೇಟಾ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಐ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪಾಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ದಿ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬರೀ ನೀವು ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಕೇಳಿ ಬಂದು ಇದ್ರೆ ಪಾಸ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ರಾದರ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸೇ ದಟ್ your score is 90% 85% you feel happy because it is something convincible adu namge convince agutte adu namge gottagutte matte inno brigu ni convince maadu so ee data ella kododrinda government ku kuda policies madlikke rules and regulations madlikke easy agutte so all these are the uses of index numbers so try to remember features plus uses so i read all the points uh, one by one just uh, concentrate it simplifies the data thus facilitate comparative study we took the example of uh, gold used in studying trends and tendencies the changes that are happening helps in measuring purchasing power of money and also used for deflation measure change in cost of living of different uh, groups of people then finally used by the government for, for framing formulating rules and regulations so hoping that uh, all these are uh, clear to you uh, we take uh, limitations of uh, index numbers okay because of course points we will discuss uh, tomorrow uh, let me introduce these uh, limitations when you take any concept for that matter okay any concept or you start from uh, the particular living creature human being human being also mixture of uh, positives and negatives okay advantages and limitations if you take your uh, smartphone that is also mixture of 
advantages and limitations. If you take uh, your computers, okay, that is also a mixture of advantages and limitations. If you take the particular government, it is also the mixture of advantages and limitations. So what I am telling here is <coughs> any concept, any statistical tools you take for that matter, starting from uh, vital statistics, mean, median, mode, water elevation, okay, any statistical tools, all these are mixture of advantages as well as limitations. You may ask, you may ask, sir, limitations is there, the hell there, a tool and the yaki apply more okay? New mean and the hell there, median, mode, uh, even you were telling about uh, index numbers, where you are saying that it is a mixture of advantages and limitations. Try to remember, limitations, uh, it doesn't mean that totally it is failed. If you take smartphone, your smartphone, even though it has negative, but we cannot say that it is not useful. Okay? Advantages are more than limitations. So when uh, parents come, they complain against you, saying that uh, he is addicted to mobile or she is addicted to mobile. So we say that as a teacher, it has both merits and limitations. It is up to us how we use those smartphones. Okay? So advantages you the limitations you the now other than hey use smartphone, other men depend on you. Similarly, index numbers, definitely it has so many uses. But at the same time, somewhere it fails or uh, somewhere uh, it is uh, not uh, uh, justified. Justifying means maybe 10% or 20%, not 100%. We are finding 100% limitations of uh, index numbers. We are not going to apply that too. Okay. So only 10 or 20% uh, limitations where uh, it fails to reach the uh, users of uh, statistical data. So in that sense, in that way, in that view, we are saying that it is a mixture of advantages as well as limitations. Okay? And all these uh, uh, statistical tools, even you have studied in vital statistics, that it is a mixture of uh, advantages as well as limitations. Okay? But it doesn't mean that uh, that tool is not applied. <coughs> if you are finding the minimum percentage of limitation, of course, uh, that is uh, somewhat uh, satisfying the users of statistical data. So what are all those limitations? Okay, plus the types of uh, index numbers and uh, what are the uh, formula to be used to construct uh, the index numbers. So all those things uh, we will discuss in our uh, next class. So for time being, uh, try to remember uh, today's concept of discussion. We discussed about the uh, features of index numbers then uh, uses of index numbers okay almost the same points you are finding but uh, somewhat more uses of index numbers uh, features are less okay so with uh, this uh, point i conclude uh, today's class okay thank you one and all